right, guys, we are southbound and down. It is April 27th. This is my first outing in the spring, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, Bryant and his younger brother Tyler got out, uh, I believe, two weeks ago. Um, got on a good bear. Things just didn't pan out there. Uh, but this weekend, a little uh, extended weekend, we're going to make a turkey bear combo hunt. So we're going to get after the turkeys in the, uh, the morning and then get after uh, some bears in the evening. I got the bow, the shotgun if they're being, the turkeys are being a little stubborn, and the 300 PRC from Best of the West Arizona. Looking forward to getting after it. All right, guys, just got to uh, the general area where we're going to spring bear hunt at least this weekend and um, got the rifle out and confirming a long range zero. So just took a 475 yard shot. Um, it's the first time that we I fired this rifle at, at that distance. So just wanted to make sure that and confirm everything is accurate. <clears throat> a little low, but nothing to worry about whatsoever. Just need to adjust and then I'm gonna give it a few, few moments and then uh, see how she flies so Bryant's coming in tonight uh, should get in after dark we're gonna meet up make a game plan for tomorrow where are we headed yeah first first uh, weekend Corey and I are out here together in the bear woods April 28th um, and we're in a new area here that we're excited to check out so hard to say what will turn up um, but yeah we got some country we're gonna get behind some gates here do some biking and see what we can find so um, like Corey said, he shot a turkey this morning and we're going to keep that going and spot a couple bears tonight. See if we can find a good one to shoot. So ready to get after it. Let's go. All right. Day two of, uh, spring bear. And uh, we got Brian and I, and Brian's little brother Tyler. We just split up. I'm gonna pop up into this this ridge and look on the backside, see if it's any good. And then Brian and Tyler went the opposite direction, so see if we can pick up a bear and make it happen. It's about 10:13. Bear cruising time. Here we go. guys good morning we got the uh, old mobile command center set up uh, Alex and I got to work today or this morning so here's my setup chair view got some donuts by us Alex Working. what did people do without hot spots that is the question now we'll get some work in for a couple hours and then uh, try to pick up a bear. All right, guys, we got a bear spotted. He's a mile, mile and a half out. So he's still there. Yeah. He's still there. Yeah. He's still yeah. there. Okay, cool. So now we're going to have to work our way back down. There's a lock gate um, down here. All right, let's get boogie in there. And uh, we're going to have to... <laughs> book it up into this area it's the it's there's no other way to get closer to him so wish us luck let's go sucking wind getting up this hill but like I said earlier this is tucked in here a little bit limited access for sure that's why this bears out right now but we're in this area but we're trying to get up this as quickly as possible about two miles in and then we should be able to get to a spot and get a shot as long as he's still out there so we're gonna keep getting up this hill and we'll check back in 
So close. Well, that bear gave us a slip and uh, we went from 500 yards to we're about 800, 850 yards away. <clears throat> we had to move back away from the hillside to get a better angle and hopefully pick him up. But we picked him up about 3.30 in the afternoon. I don't think we got over here till about 4.15. We had to drive around, get out, hike two miles. So, and we still almost got a shot. You'll see the footage, but I have him on in the spotter at about 500 yards on the ridge line um, Alex just didn't quite have the, the right angle so he, he slipped into the timber but we're going to sit here for a while and see if we can pick him back up she's a soggy one No, not yet. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. at such a steep angle that we had we took everything that we had and stacked them up and I still couldn't get it and as I'm doing that a bear all of a sudden started running towards the jack furs and never stopped I'm not quite sure the wind on our end was good but something something made him run so he gave us the slip
guys, we're back at it. This might be the, uh, this is week three of May, and this is the first time that the majority of us are together, so. <clears throat> you got uh, Alex behind the camera right now, and Bryant a little ways down there, Glass, and myself, and uh, we're gonna weekend warrior it here a little bit. Um, it is eight o'clock in the morning. Um, when you only got weekends, you hunt all day, see what you can pick up. So um, we got some good slopes that were, some good units that we're looking at right now. We're gonna bounce around and then uh, we got a pretty good game plan for the day, but you never know what happens. So that might all get turned around. So we'll see what, what comes up and go from there. All right guys, Saturday. Uh, we are now to 3.15 in the evening. Um, afternoon, I should say. We just got to our spot after lunch here. We're gonna hike up in, it looks like about a mile, kind of hunt our way up into this spot and see if we can find a bear. Um, we have not been up in here before, but it looks pretty good. A few different age cuts and uh, the only access is from the bottom down here, so. Well, getting a little breakfast uh, oatmeal going here. And uh, it is Sunday morning, the 21st. We're gonna run around here and see if we can find us a bear this morning. So, cloudy, kind of overcast day. And just gonna cover some ground, kind of in our old stomping grounds here. And check some areas where we've seen bears in the past. So, yeah, get a little food in us and we'll get after it here. Brown bear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm on him. Just let him, when he turns, I'm ready. You got him great height, but it looked a, a hair in the shoulder. How far? How far? 600.
525 uh, for the first shot. And it's just a little, it's too, it's a little forward than I'd like for sure, but um, he definitely got a 300 BRC um, right in the armpit-ish. He was quartering uh, away. Um, so we're gonna hike down. He looked pretty, pretty, hit pretty hard. And then I got a follow-up shot at 600 yards. Um, personal take, you gotta take that shot, especially when they haven't, haven't fallen over yet, so. We're gonna hike down this long ridge and uh, hopefully he's just dead on the other side. Just rewatched the video and got an exact location. Um, you can actually see the bear's path in the grass here. So he walked through the grass or ran through the grass and then just off the left side of that pine tree right there and rounded the ridge. So we're gonna keep scouring this spot for blood and wrap around the ridge here and make sure we're sure we uh, do our due diligence and double check and everything but no blood yet no bear on the ground yet we found him Woo! where you at you can't see me because i'm in the jungle ho 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 <laughs> bear down bear down boys he rounded that ridge right above Corey. We saw his skid marks through that little no maple blood. bush right there. We didn't make it hardly any farther. So. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We were right on the edge of the timber. So we knew if he wasn't, if he didn't go down right in that bush, then. Dude, he's upside down. He's probably gone. Oh, this is going to be not fun. Do you, uh, does he look like we could maybe both pull him up onto the ridge or take him down? Uh, hopefully down. So maybe go your way and then I'll show you where he's at. Okay. I think up would be pretty tough. I don't even know. Good work, man. <laughs> yes. Down. Guys, crazy, but not a drop of blood. We're on his exact exact track, probably 150 yards from where he took that first bullet. Seeing his path in the grass, verifying it on the video, and not a single drop of blood. So, you know, the, the hair on these things just soaks up blood, which we know that, but we found blood like within 100, 150 yards of where they get shot on previous bears, so. Um, yeah, we were we were doubt, doubting this um, for sure at this point, but we got a bear down. I'm gonna get over to Corey so we can drag him, drag him down to a flat spot. He's smaller. Than that. Well, I mean, he might be tough to me, but yeah. I see a bear. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you know. it's a boar. It's a boar. All right. Yeah. We got him out of the jungle of uh, blackberry bushes and got him up here and got some photos taken. Pretty, pretty excited. We've uh, covered a lot of ground this spring. We've seen some good bears, uh, just didn't pan out. Um, and we are in the third week of May. I'm starting to see a lot more movement. Super excited to get this uh, this bear down and. And we're gonna start working on them, but here is, we are really curious where the shot ended up. Obviously we got it on film and you'll see it, but here is where it ended up landing, right? Man, their hide is tough. Right here. So you can kind of see my hand right here is in the armpit. Um, it's just maybe a half inch to the right of my my hand and uh, perfect height though really really pleased with uh, the system from best of the west arizona we dialed to the range and as you can see perfect perfect height on this bear so time to get him cut up in the packs heck yeah and then it's back <sighs>
That feels good. Corey's never been so happy to see an F-O-R-D <laughs> in his life. This is a true statement. Oh, what a day. Good day. Well, how would you rate the pack out from a one to a 10? Uh, my pride wants to say it was like eight, but probably it was more like five. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was steep, but relatively short in the grand scheme of things. So he, uh, he was in the somewhat in the bottom and then he ran when he died he did a death run to the very bottom so i don't know what the feet elevation was but he uh we had to go all the way down to get him and come all the way back up and we made it made it time to load him up in the cooler and see if we can find another one on the way out yes sir <laughs> this your first bear or no uh, the last one I took was during COVID. Oh, okay. So I didn't come through here.